in the welcome back. We're glad to see you. Oh, so cool to see you. Wow, it's a, it's a beautiful day and we're hanging out and I'm so happy to hear what's going on. Well, guess what? We're maskless. These things, hopefully for a while well, and hopefully forever, oh, yeah. are in the past. So we're thankful that people are getting healthier and we're not having to deal with a thing called COVID. I got a lot of great things to tell you, but I, I, had to, I did something special for you today, Indy. What did you do? So Indy, what kind of bird are you? Well, I am a blue jay. So, what color is my shirt? It, 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 it's blue. Blue J. <laughs> so, we're twins. I got to tell you exciting things, and we are so happy. Uh, my wife Jane and I were out delivering, and so we had a church who gathered uh, personal hygiene items. And with inflation, as tough as it is, it's, it's been very difficult for our families. And so they put things in like deodorant and shampoo and soap and toothpaste. And we were delivering. The guy comes out and I open it up so he knew what it was. And he looked at me and he said, we ran out of toothpaste. My wife said, we got to go get toothpaste. And he said, I hadn't been able to. And God provided this even before I prayed. And so we are so appreciative to our partners who, who helped collect those types of items. We had another church that collected over 300 bottles of laundry detergent Wow! and we're already out. It, it goes so quick and we're able to help our families and so we're excited about that. We're having conversations, we've had conversations recently about how do we help families and guess what, we're going to build maybe three new houses next year. Wow, for families. three new houses? We're, we're partnering with Habitat for Humanity in the neighborhood on some properties and so we are really excited to start helping our families. Uh, be able to build their own home. Guess what? I heard something that maybe, maybe this summer, Indy might make an appearance in Indianapolis. Absolutely. It's going to be awesome. There's more details to come, but uh, uh, there, the good news is I'm going to be here this summer doing something really special for the kids. So t t how, how long does it take you to fly? I know you live down south, I think in Mississippi, is that where? Yeah, I, I live in Mississippi. I, I live uh, near the water in Mississippi. And, uh, you know, if I fly, let's see, I can usually, if I get a good tailwind, I can do it in under about four hours. If I drive, and I just got my driver's license, if I drive, it takes me about 12 hours. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a uh, one of those cars called a ducky. Uh, that's not all it's quacked up to be. No, no. And if you fly it upside down, it quacks up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, we're excited that we can start making plans for a summer that maybe goes back to what it used to be here. And um, and we know this, it's been a, uh, a time of changes. But one thing that hasn't changed is that we love our neighbors and we want to share the love of Jesus with our neighbors as well. And so what words do you have to the folks who help make it possible for us to be here and to do all these exciting things? Well, the, the words are thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What you do is making a real difference in the lives of so many people. It is, and I have the privilege to see that firsthand and and I am blessed uh, this July Jane and I will celebrate 27 years of being here at, at Shepherd Community and so wow. many people have helped us and while I may today be a blue jay I'm very happy and I'm not blue just my shirt is uh, <laughs> because these are exciting days lots of good things happening being able to invest in the lives of kids and their teens and we have some of our college students who are graduating this year and high school students that are graduating and being able to see where they're headed off to. We, we had a student who goes to our local high school, Arsenal Tech, and we just helped him get a job at O'Brien Toyota part-time and he'll get trained as an auto mechanic and they can make a lot of money being an auto mechanic. My wife wants me to become an auto mechanic, but uh, Indy? I can't fix anything. If I understand. I, if I try to fix something, you have to fix me and then fix whatever I fix. So, I understand. Yeah. Well, these are exciting days, Indy, and uh, we can't wait. And we thank all of our partners who make it possible for us to be here and for Indy to join me today. We're looking forward to seeing you in the summer. Have a great day. Have an awesome day.